Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Seal Mod Type run of EV Emerald. Today's objective is to, hopefully, beat Roxanne. But before we do that, we need to talk about level grinding. There is no way in hell a level 12 Beldum is going to beat Roxanne. Even if it can knock out our Geodude, Nose Pass is just going to tank its takedowns, it'll run out of power points, and have to use Struggle. So, I may have to evolve into Matang, which will give me access to Confusion and Metal Claw. But, well, that's eight levels of the Pokemon in the Soul Level Up group. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, I may have to cut out most of the grinding of the trainer battles unless, of course, something interesting happens. That. We have Repel. And we talk to the first trainer. And that's the other reason that I want to level this thing up as quickly as I can, because, well, takedown missing all the time is getting really, really annoying. Not to mention having to go back to the Pokemon Center to heal all the time. Okay, it's gonna be one more. Come on, you piece of shit. <sighs> Come on. Finally! Well, that was a massive waste of time. So, I guess I'll be right back after I heal. And we're back! On the way back, I beat up a Talo, so I got a little bit more experience. And now we battle the second trainer. This should be... Oh, it's Youngster Joey! But where's his red attack? Yeah, you see, if he had his Rattata, I would have actually been in trouble there. His Rattata's in the top percentile, you see. Eh, I guess I'll knock out a couple more wild Pokemon just to bring my level up. Now, another Talo. All right, now I gotta go back and heal again. I will be right back. Now we're back yet again. Here we have a schoolgirl. With. Hmm. I can't remember what she had. One Pokemon. Shroomish! Okay. Now, there is one other trainer on this route I'm probably not gonna battle right away, because that guy is rock types, and I won't be able to knock those out quickly. I might just grind a bit against wild mods before I do that. Okay, that's Shroomish down. Nabra! 
Hmm. You know what? Yeah. Let, let's just try and catch it. Why not? Nope. Fuck you. But yeah, those two hikers there, they use rock types. So, uh, we'll deal with them later. Probably should use an Ultra Ball on that Abra. Whatever. I can catch Abra later. Not that I'd be using it much anyway. The only reason I would want it is for teleport. Makes it faster to go back and forth between the Pokemon Center. Uh, great. Now, we're paralyzed, so expect para-hacks. Now that's over, and I'm going to cut again, and do a bit of grinding off camera. And we're back, so I've gained a couple more levels, but I just remembered something. Struggle is typeless, which means, well, let's just test it against these hikers. If it does well enough against their rock types, maybe I can rely on struggle strats against Roxanne, we'll see. I still think those extra levels I gained is going to help in terms of power, but... Okay, I mean, against a level 8 Geodude, that's not terrible. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I'm probably still going to need some healing items during the fight, because, well... It's not that powerful. I'm going to be taking more damage than I deal, most likely. Especially since, well... Nose Pass can boost its defense. Let's see, did you pick up any items? Yep. Hmm. All these Super Potions are going to come in handy. Antidotes, eh, that's just free money at this point. always nice. Okay, so, yeah, this might actually work, especially because there's a couple more trainers in the gym I can get some more experience against. I mean, I wouldn't bet on it, because, well, it could still boost their defense. But on the other hand, they can't do a whole lot to me either, because, well, Roxanne's Geodude doesn't know magnitude, as far as I'm aware. All right, let's go back to the Pokemon Center, and we will see what happens next. Right, I meant not the Pokemon Center, we're just gonna go right to the gym. Knocked out a couple more wild Pokemon, so now I'm up to level 17. Every little bit of extra power helps. First gym trainer, let's see what happens. You're level 10, you're a little tougher than the other ones. Not surprisingly, doesn't do a lot of damage.
That helps. Now, ordinarily you get into a double battle over here, but we're going to take them on one at a time. Okay, so this guy is like the hikers on the other route. Got it. Yeah, this may look good, but keep in mind, Roxanne's Pokemon are going to be higher level than this, I think. I think her Judo is like level 12 or something, and those Pass is like 14 or 15. I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so that's the second trainer down. Use the last potion. Pick up the items from my squad of Zigzagoon. Another potion. Let's just organize things a bit better. So, put the potions up there. This goes up here. This we're going to put at the very bottom because I'm going to sell those. We don't have any use for those. Now, let's take on the last trainer. And another hiker with two level 8 Geodudes. Okay. There's another hack I'd played. I think it's Emerald Complete National Dex Edition. Where one of these trainers has... I think it's the hiker, actually, that has an Onyx. Because that hack modifies the teams, of course. This one, they all seem to be the same. Yeah, I think we can pull this off. I think. Let's see. So, first things first. Let's save. If you're wondering about the time on there, um, it's that high because I'm using speed ups off camera, so that way Brandy's a little faster for me. Sorry about the awkward cut there. I had some uh, technical difficulties. So, we're just gonna... Well, we're gonna move on. Okay, what we get? We got an Ultra Ball. You know what? We're gonna save again. Now I have actually healed. And the battle commences. First gym leader. It's gonna be two Geodude and a Nose Pass. I if I'm wrong, but I think in Ruby and Sapphire, it was just one Geodude in the Nose Pass. And we're doing what's called Struggle Strats. Because Struggle is a typeless attack. Which means it is not subject to type weaknesses or resistances. So, paradoxically, Struggle, although being much weaker in theory, should deal a lot more damage to Takedown. And unlike Takedown... It can't miss. Of course, I'm not worried about Rock Tomb. On top of it not doing that much damage, Roxanne can't actually lower my speed because of Clear Body, so that's nice.
I think she only has a couple of potions. And of course, Nose Pass is an Oron Berry. Alright, one down. Yeah, this is gonna be very slow. Riveting gameplay, huh? You think this is tedious? Oh, you see nothing. Nose Pass is gonna be really, really slow. Because Nose Pass, well. There's no... You know what? I'm not going to take a chance. The thing about Nose Pass is it knows Harden, Block, Rock Throw, and Rock Tomb. Now, it's already tanky enough as it is. But on top of that, it knows Harden, and it's... Now, to be fair, Nose Pass isn't going to be able to do a lot of damage to me, because neither of its Rock-type attacks have a lot of power points. I think they both have 10. Or maybe it's just 15, maybe it's 15 for rock throw, but it's not a lot. And they can both miss. I'm actually going to do, probably going to do more damage to myself than it does to me. And once it runs out of that, it can only use harden and block, which is going to make things really, really slow. Two down, one to go. Now comes the really annoying part. Now we're up to level 18, so we'll do a little more damage. Yeah, you see that? Not good. We're not going to take any chances. If that thing gets, like, a crit or something, it's just going to get obnoxious. Yeah, I know. Riveting gameplay and having to use healing items, but... Them's the breaks. There's either this, or... Take even longer to grind, so that way this thing... Becomes a Matang, and then... If it was a Matang, I'd probably be able to... Build this thing pretty quickly. I just didn't feel like doing that. I mean, at this point, it's pretty much assured that I'm going to win. It's just wasting my time. And there goes the battle! Yes, you do. We have our first gym badge. And uh, if I recall correctly, I think this is the last generation in which badges boost your stats. But yeah, that increases attack power. Also, let's use cut. Which reminds me, before I... Before I end this, I should probably teach Cut to one of my Zigzagoon. I get Rock Tomb, which I might teach to Auron later on. Because it's Rock type, so we get Stab. There aren't that many good Rock type attacks in Gen 3. Wrong item. Let's just reorganize these real quick. Yep, 
There we go. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And I will see you all next time.